hey guys welcome back to youtube channel it's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 20,000 subscribers you guys are the best keep liking keep sharing keep commenting keep subscribing and please keep motivating me by giving me stuff to react to i will really really appreciate we're almost hitting 21,000 subscribers i think we're 40 45 subscribers away so please keep subscribing i will personally appreciate uh thank you for always supporting us keep supporting us and you can find us on instagram and facebook as funny and jesse if you want to be friends and say hi say hi we'll say hi back you can check out our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out there so today i'm going to be reacting to this it's actually not in english and I've forgotten the English name, but probably when I post this, it will have an English title. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Yes, brother. Uh, my name is Lee. I'm a student. My question is that earlier you mentioned that Jesus is also a Muslim because he submits to the will of God. Um, and this is regardless of the fact that he drank alcohol. He didn't pray five times a day. You know, he, he, all he, the only action he did was submit to the will of God. So... Given that, that thinking, that logic, wouldn't that mean that any person of the book, Christian or Jew, is in fact a Muslim, as long as they agree to mis submit to the will of God? Whether if I understood your question correctly, you said any person, whether Christian or Jew, etc., who submits the will to God is a Muslim. Yeah, as you said about, about Jesus, you said Jesus is a Muslim right. for that reason. But whether, I do agree with you, anyone who submits the will to God in Arabic, you call him a Muslim. But you should first know what has God commanded us. If you think something else, if you read a scripture which is not the word of God and start thinking or submitting a will to God by following a scripture which is not the word of God, then you are not a true Muslim. So first you have to identify what has God commanded us. And if you do a comparative study of all the scriptures of the various world religions, you will find out if you use the test of science, logic, etc. The only scripture that passes the test is the last and final testament if there's something like old testament and new testament the quran is the last testament so if you want to truly submit a will to god first you have to find out who is this true god what has he commanded us and after that you have to submit your will so therefore when i say a true muslim is a person who follows the commandments of almighty god now jesus christ peace be upon him was a messenger of god he directly got revelation from god so surely he followed the will of almighty god so today also, if a Christian, supposedly, what the talk is based on, that at least let us agree to follow what is common in your scripture and my scripture. Suppose you will say Bible is the word of God, I am saying Quran is the word of God. So let us agree to follow what is common, what is different, keep it aside. So your Bible says believe in one God. So if you believe in Trinity, you are going against the Bible. The word Trinity does not exist in the Bible, but it is in the Quran. Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, 171, don't say trinity so if you believe in trinity you are going against the bible for the bible says that that you should not do idol worship bible says you have to believe in the last and final messenger jesus christ peace be upon him said in the gospel of john chapter number 16 verse number 12 to 14 i have many things to say unto you but he cannot bear them now for he when the spirit of truth shall come he shall guide you unto all truth he shall not speak of himself all that he hear shall he speak he shall show you things to come. He shall glorify me. So if you are a true follower of the Bible, you have to follow in the last and final message. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. That means you have to follow the Quran and the sayings of the Prophet. So if you follow the Quran and the sayings of the Prophet, you become a Muslim. So my talk is based on, let us agree to follow what is common. Differences, as I told earlier, I can give a talk on hundreds of contradictions in the Bible, which I don't intend doing. There was a person who wrote a book, in USA, Dr. William Campbell, that there are 30 scientific errors in the Quran. I went to Chicago, I had a debate, and I clarified all his misconception. And when I pointed out 38 scientific errors in the Bible, he could not reply to any. So I cannot attribute these errors to Almighty God. So first I have to identify which is the book of God, and then follow it. So even if you agree for sake of argument that Bible is the word of God, even then you have to follow the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So let us agree what is common in both the scriptures and let us agree at least implement on that today and come to common terms. Hope that answers the question.
finally the stand on the camera now behaving it hasn't even moved once um for the sake of a discussion what if no not even what if do muslims believe in the last supper of um jesus because at that table jesus turned water into wine and they don't even know if they drank it and what not so if that's the case doesn't that make jesus not muslim because that's something a christian can say to say no he's not muslim wow um dr zaki naik says otherwise um I love how Muslims are say say they're more Christian than Christians, and how they say um, if you believe there's only one God and you believe in the last prophet, then you're Muslim. That's very nice. I think it's quite inclusive if you ask me, and um, it depends on the person receiving the information. Others would be offended. Others would not. Others would find it fascinating and worth looking into and others will just throw it out the window that's why i say it depends because it's really up to you to overcome that information to look into that information to seek knowledge concerning that information or just completely be ignorant and um i mean not everyone is going to accept dr zaki naik's opinion and that's fine everyone has their own opinion which they can prove as far as they want at the end of the day, I think if we believe in God, let us believe in God. Let us continue serving God. Let us continue um, flourishing in life and being kind to the people around us. I don't want to take a side and say, no, this means this or this means that. Let's just be good people at the end of the day. Or you belong to this and that. I, I don't know. I, f I feel like there's a video I was reacting to and I would love to agree with that because it says despite the different cultures, nationalities, whatever the case is, we're one people, that's all that matters at the end of the day. I would love to go with that and just, that would be my opinion, my sincere opinion. I don't know about you guys, what you have to say about the question the guy asked and how Dr. Zaki Naik answered it. What are your thoughts? Your thoughts are always welcome. Please comment down below or feel free to answer my questions that I asked. I will really, really appreciate. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.